So let's take a moment and talk about the uh, tablet features of the TX2Z. Just a quick word of advice. If you never plan to use on using the TX2Z as a tablet, don't buy one. Uh, I know several people, including my sister-in-law, who, uh, who have uh, tablet, uh, convertible tablet devices, and they never use them in tablet mode. So to me, that's just a waste of money. You can buy an equivalently powerful device uh, for $700 less, usually, if you're uh, never going to use um, the device as a tablet. So on to the TX2Z itself here. Uh, this is a uh, 1280 by 800 screen, 12.1 uh, inch um, diagonally uh, measured screen in size. Um, this is based, uh, the digitizer um, is based on uh, the Intrigue technology. Um, this is not Wacom based, so if you're using a, uh, something like Photoshop and need the pressure sensitivity, uh, from what I understand, um, the Entrig uh, digitizer doesn't work well with uh, Photoshop. I, I'm not a uh, graphic artist or use Photoshop much, so um, I primarily use my tablet for note taking. So that's not important to me. Um, this is a dual mode digitizer, which means it responds to an electromagnetic pen as well as touch. It's a uh, capacitive touch, which means that uh, it's not the pressure that the screen responds to, but the actual contact of your finger to the screen. So touching it just very lightly will, uh, will enable the input to the device, and it works pretty well. We'll demonstrate that. And um, lastly, uh, this is a multi-touch unit, uh, which means that by using multiple fingers, you can enable gestures uh, to do things like rotate and resize and um, an image for instance um, and that's become kind of trendy um, personally it's uh, kind of a gimmick I think with the the TX2Z uh, the, oh, the only applications that really work well at all with it um, are the uh, HP Media Smart applications and they don't work all that great with it, to be honest. Uh, I have noticed also that Picasa 3, the Google Photo Imaging app, will um, will respond to uh, some of the gestures, but it's still kind of quirky. Um, so let's take a look now at um, the ink interface or the pen interface. I'm bringing up OneNote. And one note it should be anybody's best friend that wants to use a tablet for note taking. It's a great application. Um, another note as well. This is uh, the Intrigue digitizer doesn't support a pen or excuse me an eraser, um, at least not with this unit. And I don't believe it. Um, the Dell unit that just came out this fall I think uses the same digitizer. And it doesn't have a eraser as well so it's a little bit of a bummer not not totally bad but as you just saw I was able to you know most applications like OneNote and, uh, will respond to the scratch out gesture and most applications also have a little eraser that uh, you can activate uh, just by using an icon so the eraser is um, Lack of an eraser is a little bit of a bummer, but not a deal breaker. Um, thinking works well. The pen is very sensitive and it responds very well to all edges of the screen. There's no wobbling of the of the pen um, along the edges, particularly. That's in been a, an issue traditionally with tablets. Uh, so this pen works just as well, um, maybe even a little bit better than um, my Wacom based uh, Toshiba R25. Um, as, as you notice too, as I was writing, um, this being a dual mode digitizer, touching the screen hasn't uh, caused input to the unit. Um, 
the Intrig Digitizer has several modes of operation. The one I like the most um, is what they call auto. And on an auto mode, um, your the pen takes precedence over touch interface. So as long as the pen is in proximity to the screen, there's no touch response. Uh, I'll put the pen down and I'll do quickly double tap the screen and you can see that little blue uh, square, uh, blinking square just popped up. That means now the unit will respond to touch. So I can now touch the screen and voila, I get touch uh, input. I'll minimize OneNote and then you can see the little virtual mouse. Um, this allows you to more accurately position the cursor for touch input. So I'm going to go and bring up my taskbar, which I have set to auto hide, um, which the um, virtual mouse makes possible to do. You can't really bring that up without it. Uh, I didn't bring up. IE, I'm just trying to bring up IE. Yeah. Probably should use the virtual mouse to give me better cursor positioning. So I'll highlight IE, click on it. Takes a little getting used to. Personally, I'm a uh, pen guy, but. Um, the touch works pretty well. If you know, if you're just surfing in the bed and you know, just don't want to bother with the pen. Um, and let's quickly demonstrate then now the um, multi-touch features. I'll bring up uh, the HP Media Smart app. Um, first demonstration of the multi-touch. You can bring up the Media Smart app with um, using two fingers and drawing an M on the screen. And there we are with the quick launch bar for the Media Smart application. I'll uh, launch uh, the photo app. And I will bring up uh, some images of some Christmas trees I took this Christmas. I'll click on one of them uh, just by tapping it and there's the image and you can scroll through the image uh, using gestures uh, that you've found um, in the iPhone and the uh, gestures in the tablet PC uh, um, gesturing mechanism where you can go back and forth in IE with uh, going back and forth with your finger. The multi-touch is, uh, like I said, kind of a gimmick. Um, um, I found it easier to use two fingers, actually, with, on um, two separate hands to, like, do the rotation gesture. It's uh, a little quirky. It's not perfect by any stretch, but it's usable. To be honest, it's just easier to touch a button to do the same thing, I think. But... Um, it's uh, it does more or less work. So kind of neat. Not really a a useful feature or a must-have feature. Um. But um, there you have it in a nutshell, a uh, quick overview of the tablet functions. Uh, like I said, it's um, Intrigue-based technology, not Wacom. So if you need pressure sensitivity in Photoshop, this may not be the device for you. There is no eraser on the pen. Um, dual mode, electromagnetic pen base, touch base, uh, capacitive touch base. So you just have to lightly touch the screen. You don't have to use a lot of pressure. and um, for note-taking and general purpose tablet use, it works very well.